This is a comprehensive problem on stoichiometry where we need to determine everything from the moles of the reactants, the limiting reactant and the percent yield which is addressed at least in two or three different formats. The problem is about synthesis of aspirin which is otherwise is called acetyl salicylic acid and it is synthesized from salicylic acid and acetic anhydride. What we need to do is we need to address several questions considering that 10 kilograms of each reactant is mixed in one container. So what we do is first we're going to address the first three questions, questions from A to C, and then we'll continue and we'll continue to the other questions. So first thing what we need to do is we need to find the moles because unless we know the moles we cannot do any calculations in stoichiometry. So let's do this. First determine the moles of salicylic acid. So salicylic acid, this is equal to the grams mass over the molar mass. So this is equal to 10,000 grams over the molar mass of the salicylic acid, which is 138.1 grams per mole. Cancel the grams and we have 72.4 moles. Second, what are the moles of acetic anhydride? acetic anhydride this is equal to again the same formula and we still have 10,000 grams divided by the molar mass which is 102.1 grams per mole cancel the grams we have 98.0 actually I rounded off a little bit the numbers here and I'm just gonna go with three significant figures most of the time and um, number nine we have four and to be more accurate follow with four significant figures but um, I will just go with three just to keep simpler numbers so 98 moles of acetic anhydride and 72.4 moles of salicylic acid. What are we going to do next? We need to address the first question, which is about um, the limiting reactant. So let's put the moles here, acetic anhydride. I'm going to put 98 moles here, 98 moles. And I'm also going to put the moles of salicylic acid, and that is... 72.4 moles so because the ratio everything is one to one here just one once again remember these numbers is one in front of each and which represents the number of the moles it's a one to one ratio so the one that is in less quantity which means salicylic acid will be the limiting reactant but just to remind you the correct way uh, no matter what is the ratio to do is to determine which one is going to give you less product. So uh, 72.4 moles of salicylic acid will react with 72.4 moles of acetic anhydride. It will produce 72.4 moles of aspirin and 72.4 moles of acetic anhydride. Now just to confirm this, if I do my calculations based on acetic anhydride, it will give me 98 moles because of the ratio 1 to 1. And so obviously here, if I compare, I will see that 72.4 is less. So this is the limiting reactant because it gives us less product. So this is how we answer the first question. We got this. So the limiting reactant is the salicylic acid. Question B. So second question. In order to answer this, it's asking us what mass of the excess reactant is less left over. So obviously, if this is the limiting reactant, we have we don't have enough of it to consume all of the second reactant, and this is the the one that is in excess. Acetic acid is in excess, and in order to find how much of it is left over the mass, what we need to do is we need to get the difference of the initial moles and the amount of the moles that had reacted. So the moles, let's write down this, the moles of acetic anhydride, I'll just put AA, that is left over is equal the moles, the initial moles minus the, the moles that had reacted. 72.4 moles had reacted based on the limiting reactant. So 
this is gone and the difference will be what is left over so this is going to be equal to 98.0 moles minus 72.4 moles which gives us 25.6 moles and this is how much is left over after the reaction is complete now we need to just convert this to mass because it's asking you to find it in mass so the mass of the acetic anhydride that is left over is equal to moles actually n times the molar mass and so this will be 25.6 moles times the molar mass which is 102.1 grams per mole cancel this and that is about 2613 grams or 2.613 kilograms of the acetic anhydride that is left over so we answer the second question and now the third question question C is asking you the yield how much aspirin will be formed if the yield is 100 percent so remember if you're saying that the yield is 100 percent we're talking about the theoretical yield so we're talking about an ideal reaction that nothing disturbs the yield of the reaction and what we need to do is we need to determine based on the limiting reaction which was the salicylic acid here uh, how much product is formed so based on that we know that 72.4 moles will be formed this is not going to be formed because we did not have enough of the reactants and so what we need to do is now we need to find the mass of the aspirin based on 72.4 moles let's write down here the mass of the aspirin aspirin is equal to moles times the molar mass which is 72.4 moles multiplied by um, what do we have 180.2 grams per mole we cancel this and we have 13,046 grams which is about let's say about 13.05 kilograms this is how much product will be produced if the reaction is 100 yield so if everything is working perfectly that's how much product will be produced and so now we answer to the third question now let's think about question d it is asking if the yield is 70 percent how much of aspirin will be formed so if we determine that if the yield was 100 percent then it will be about 13 kilograms of aspirin formed here so we determined that this will be 13 kilograms now what we need to do is we need to write down that 13.05 kilogram corresponds to 100 percent now what if my reaction is only 70 percent not 100 percent so here i can write down x kilograms and this is question d and so from here we determine that x is equal to 9.135 kilograms around here about nine kilograms will be formed if the yield was 70 percent or simply what we could have done is that we take that as we write down that the mass of the aspirin is equal to 13.05 kilograms times 0.7 which is how we determine the 70 percent and there will be this number again of course because same number same procedures just shown slightly differently so this was question d now let's go to question e question e is asking what if the actual yield is 11 kilograms and so we need to find the percent yield of the reaction well the percent yield is given by this formula so let's write down here question e percent yield is the ratio of the actual yield over theoretical yield times 100 percent so if the actual yield is 11.2 kilograms and we just determined that the theoretical yield is 13 kilogram then we divide these two numbers kilograms so times 100 we can cancel the kilograms which gives us about 85.9 percent for the reaction yield so if 11 kilograms is produced then this corresponds to 85.9 percent 
Now question F, so the last question is asking you how much of salicylic acid is needed to produce 20 kilograms of aspirin if the reaction yield is 85%. So this is similar to the previous problem that we did and there are at least two or actually three ways how to address this. I'm going to show two ways how to do it. So let's write down here. So this is our last question here. If the yield is 85% and we need to produce 20 kilograms of aspirin, let's find the moles of the aspirin first that is needed to be produced. So this is equal to 20 kilograms, which corresponds to 20,000 grams over the molar mass of the aspirin, which is 180.2 grams per mole. And this is 111 moles. So we need to produce 111 moles of aspirin. Let's put it here, 111 moles. So this means that in order to produce this amount, we need to have 111 moles of salicylic acid, which efficiently will convert into aspirin. Now, this doesn't mean that if we add 111 moles of the salicylic acid everything is going to successfully react in fact we need to add some more let's say x moles and out of the x moles 111 will successfully convert to the aspirin so what is the x so what we can do is we can say that the 111 moles of the aspirin correspond to the 85% of that unknown amount that we need to add. On the other hand, we can say that some x moles that we don't know how many moles correspond to 100%, right? So, and now if we solve this, we get that x is equal to 130.6 moles, which is in grams, so the mass of the aspirin will be equal to moles times molar mass, 130.6 moles multiplied by 138.1 grams per mole. And so this is about 18 kilogram. So which means that 18 kilograms, which corresponds to 130 moles right here. So the X is actually 130 moles. Out of this, only 111 will successfully convert into the product because the yield is 85%. So remember, 85% yield means that only 85% of the limiting reactant will convert into the uh, target product. Now, so this will be one way. A slightly different approach would be, and you can use any of these. Uh, so let's say we, we say that we have some x moles of the starting material and we don't know obviously at this point we don't know how much it is but we can say that suppose we have some x moles and so if i put x here x moles and uh, i know that here i have formed uh, 111 moles 111 moles based on the calculation what i can say that is yes i added x moles here but how much it actually reacted, only 85% of the X had successfully reacted. So what I have in fact here is not the X that had reacted, is I have 0.85 X that had successfully converted into the product. So according to this little equation, which I can write down right here, the mole ratios, it's one to one ratio, I know that 0.85 X is equal to 111 moles. So if we solve for the x, it will give us the same number so that x is equal to 130.6 moles. So then we just need to compare this to the mass. Obviously, it's going to give us the same number, 18 kilograms. And this will be another way how to solve this problem. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and visit Chemistry Steps for more problems and lectures.